I have more than I need, so I'll just feast on you. Over here, partner. All I found were these Reachmen stalking the pass. Decided they'd rather die than talk, so I obliged. They don't look like they're from Ice Reach, but they are wearing the Coven's medallions. Kilcraith? The Temple to Meridia? Why would the Ice Reach Coven target a local Daedra cult? Damn, we're running out of time. I'll head back to Solitude and try again to warn High King Svargrim. You go to Kil You'll be going up against the Coven by yourself. Warn the priests. If there's an opportunity to safely stop or delay the ritual, by all means, but don't. Disaster has befallen Kilcreath Temple. Don't be alarmed. I mean you no harm. But there are harrow fiends swarming around Kilcreath Temple who do. I'm sorry, but you're too late. An unnatural storm struck the temple, and now the entire area is overrun by vampires and harrow fiends. Harrow fiends are feral vampires, a byproduct of the unnatural harrow storm. As for me. I am Fenorian of House Ravenwatch. I came here on the trail of remains stolen from a mass grave in Bankurai. Yes, I've run into the coven as well. The urns and the stolen remains play a part in a ritual to summon the storms. If you're willing, I could use your assistance. I could use your help to examine the strange pikes erected around the temple. Harrow fiends and vampires roam the area, making it difficult to get close. Is it that obvious? But have no fear. As a member of House Ravenwatch, I have pledged to never take blood from an unwilling subject. I am much more than just a vampire. In addition to being an agent of House Ravenwatch, I am a master alchemist and an expert in arcane studies. House Ravenwatch is one of the noble houses of Rivenspire. Our liege, Count Verandus, has dedicated us to the cause of peaceful coexistence between mortals and... Those of the vampiric persuasion. True, but I've seen evidence of a vampiric connection. At the very least, the material they transported from Bankurai included the remains of ancient vampires. They were part of an army that was defeated in the First Era. The Grey Host. An army that consisted of vampires and werewolves, led by King Styrik and Vakarth. They were the Ice Reach Coven performed a ritual that unleashed a harrowstorm on the temple. That's what I heard the Ice Reach Coven call the storm that struck Kilcreath Temple. Look! A priest of Meridia! Maybe they can tell us more about what happened at the temple.
An alchemical residue. That should prove useful. Depleted. Just ordinary sticks and rope now. Interesting. Can you feel the lingering energy? That's Daedric, if I'm not mistaken. These depleted witch pikes expended a lot of power to summon the Harrowstorm. Now they're just ordinary sticks, but even in this state, they tell us much about the ritual that flowed through them. I'm sure now that the pikes play a significant role as focal points for the storm ritual. The prepared pikes are depleted as the ritual runs its course, but I sensed lingering energy. It's the remains of an alchemical poultice that was spread over the pikes. Smells like rotting fungus, doesn't it? With a little study, I should be able to identify each ingredient in its makeup. One other thing I want to check first. I noticed the pilgrims leading a cart away from the temple right before the storm hit. Coven members could have tried to slip away among the innocents. Oh. alive but unresponsive. Check the crates and see if they contain the smuggled items. Did you find anything of interest in the crate? I can't believe anyone knowingly involved would have let themselves be exposed to the storm. Yes, of course. Though I fear what we may find there. These are temple priests and pilgrims. It seems the storm killed them. I'll need to perform more tests. But from what we've seen, I believe the storm affects mortals in three distinct ways. It kills them, transforms them into harrow fiends, and leaves them mindless. I suppose I'd say it harrowed those poor pilgrims. I want to learn more about the ritual and how it produces the harrow storms. 
And I need to confirm my theories about the storm's effects. I'll start by examining the residue from the Witch Pike to identify the components used to power the ritual. My alchemical equipment. It's extremely fragile, so I left it in my pack. That's close enough, Leech. Wait, wait! I'm not part of the cabin! Looks like I made it back just in time. This place is crawling with vampires, and that one was about to make a meal out of you. House Ravenwatch. I've heard of them, but he's a long way from Rivenspire. Well, if you're willing to trust a vampire, I suppose I can too. On the cliff overlooking the temple, calls herself Sister Embrit. I was going to rush her, but I wanted to make sure you hadn't run afoul of any of these monsters first. No offense, Fen. Come on. Perhaps I could question the witch before you introduce her to your impressive axe blade? needs refinement. Kill her before she can summon another storm. Willing sacrifices. Oh, how nice. Sacrifice. I'd rather give you my axe, witch. Where? Go with your vampire friend. I'm gonna look around here. Do you see? These are the same as the urns smuggled from Bankarai. They didn't just shatter. They exploded. All this rubble scattered around didn't just come from these urns. The texture and patterns are different. 
They appear to have used the funerary dust in the urns to summon the Harrowstorms. Look at the shape of the fragments. They come from a hollow receptacle of some sort. Something at least as tall as you. Perhaps larger. Thank you, but no. I try to avoid large population centers. The temptation. You understand. I met a clever woman who lives in the bog near Morthal. Old Mjolins, a dying breed among the Nords. A practitioner of the old magic. So, what did your vampire friend discover? Reach witches summoning magical storms to create feral vampires? That's horrible, but to what purpose? Queen Gerhild needs to hear what we discovered at Kilcreath Temple. Oh. The Queen seemed reasonable. She'll believe us. As for Svargrim, who can tell? I'd like to knock down the palace door, grab him by the throat, and shake him until he listens. That would probably start a war, though, and Joran specifically asked me to avoid that. If there's anything else we need to discuss, let's get it out of the way now, before we return to Solitude. If there's anything... Hey, you and Fenorian came to that conclusion, not me. Still a clever woman? Out here? Nords are extremely distrustful of magic. Our priority remains getting an audience with High King Svargrim. We need you. Another day, another infernal hero story. Who's up for archaeology? <laughs> well? Help! Assassins in the palace! Help! That's one of the Queen's attendants. Let's get inside. Strong, Svana. Mother! No! No! Svana, your father, the kingdom. Watch your father. Mother! No! You can't die! Mother! Sire, the assassins might return. You must get to somewhere safe. Have Joran's lackeys come to gloat? We came here to warn you, Your Highness. And yet my wife lies dead. If you had listened to us... Like she did. 
If I determine Yorin had a hand in this, <laughs> there will be war! Someone take care of my wife! Father, please. Gods, what a disaster. The Queen's been assassinated and Svargrim still refuses to listen to reason. Good question. The guards should have been able to handle a run-of-the-mill assassin. This could be connected to the Ice Reach Coven. In fact, I'd wager my axe that it is. Look around. See if you can find any indication of how the assassin got in and out of the palace so easily. Svana's taking this pretty hard. I suppose most daughters feel close to their mothers. Not that I'd know, I never knew my mother. Sorry, don't mind me. We've seen these medallions before. On the Reachmen near Kilkreath. And I saw them on the witches in Ice Reach. Yes, Svargrim has every right to be angry. He watched his wife die right before his eyes. But he's the High King, he doesn't have the right to be stupid. We need to see the High King. I should think not. The High King is in mourning. He's not to be disturbed. The Queen's wasn't the only life lost today. Now get out of our way. I, uh... Go right in. Your Highness, please. Your kingdom is in grave danger. My Queen's blood hasn't yet cooled. And already Joran's lackeys hound me. We have proof that the coven threatening your kingdom is responsible for the Queen's death. Show him, here. partner. Does Joran think me so weak that he believes his half-giant can twist my arm and fill my head with lies? Reach witches. They pose no threat. We've beaten back those wild dogs time and time again, fell our brothers to the east, bow down to a poetry-writing milk drinker. Tales told around campfires to scare the children. Storms happen here all the time, and none of them spawn monsters. The you dishonor my wife's name by letting it pass through your treacherous lips. Away with you! We'll leave you to your grief, your highness. Is it true? Mother told me you were working for her before she... I'm sorry, Svana. My mother. She told me she gave the mighty Lyris Titanborn an important task. Tell me, what were you doing for my mother? Threat? What threat? And did you tell my father all this? Is he rallying the soldiers? Alerting the other holds? <sighs> my father sees Joran's plots everywhere, even in his spicy venison stew. Well, I won't let my mother's death be for nothing. Come on, princess. Let's get you somewhere sick. Life. She is like ice. So cold. So pale. There was a commotion at the palace. Everyone was headed that way. Except one man. No, not a man. He wore an eye patch, but his face was bestial. He was fast. So fast. Ran to the Hall of the Dead. <laughs> Thank you. 
Will you pray with me for these poor souls? It was a monster, a vampire. I have seen such creatures before, but this one wore an eye patch. Toward the main gate, I pray the guard finished off the depraved creature before it took enough. Huh? You again? Didn't I warn you about putting your nose where it doesn't belong? A vampire? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. But whoever it was tore out Sonolia's throat and fled through the gate before I could stop him. The Queen's dead? What about the High King? He'll have my head for letting the assassin slip away. Yeah, yeah. It's not like I opened the gate and let him slink off. The real this is Spargrim's fault. He should have heeded us from the start. Damn Spargrim and his distrust of Yorin. How many more of his people have to die before he accepts the truth and lets us help him? That would explain the assassin's swiftness and ability to escape so easily. We knew the Ice Reach Coven had vampires on their side, but using them so blatantly. Well then, time to fight fire with fire. They've got evil vampires, and we've got a friendly one. Let's find out exactly what your friend Fen knows about vampire clans in the area. Right. To research the ritual. Go find them and see what you can learn. I'll stay with Savannah. Bring her up to... Oh. Put too much stock in rumors that they're old wives' tales. I don't think we are the first to camp here. Lots of fresh tracks. Allow I'd welcome some, some rest. The divines are watching over us. Welcome to the middle of nowhere, my friend. You must be freezing. Warm you? A bold move, even for them. Old Njolin and I have been comparing notes, and we've made some progress studying the Harrowstorm ritual. We knew that vampires were working with the Coven. And old Njolin and I can say with certainty that the feral Harrow fiends are byproducts of Harrow Storms. An eye patch? That's uncommon. And this insignia, I've seen it before. It's the same as the symbol that decorates the urns smuggled out of Bankarai. Local wisdom dictates that only the very brave or the very foolish seek the counsel of vampires and old crones. A grim talisman. It bears an enchantment of some kind, though the symbol upon it holds no significance that I'm aware of. Bring me the bones of a wolf and a death bell plant pulled up by its roots. I need the plant alive. The wolf? Not so much. Death bell grows throughout the bog. You should have no trouble acquiring it. Wolf and icy rime clings to the wolves, sapping the heat and life from their bodies until only a... 